Today on TBC, the passing of a titan, we're honoring James Earl Jones. Stick around. And we also remember 9-11 as we celebrate unity, today on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Karina. And I'm Matthew, here with Max, Krisha, and Saharj. How are you guys doing today? Good. 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 You ready for the second episode? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Good one. Yeah, good I hope one. so. Very Great good. One. Before we get started, we do have a quick message from a steward. FCA is canceled tomorrow, September 12th, but it should re resume next week. Again, FCA is canceled for tomorrow. We'll move on to our top stories in a moment, but first, let's take a look at the weather. Today we take a comprehensive look at the career of the renowned actor James Earl Jones, which spans over 60 years. Born in 1931, Jones overcame a childhood stutter to become one of the most recognizable voices in the entertainment industry. Known for his deep, resonant voice, Jones is celebrated for iconic roles such as Darth Vader in Star Wars and Mufasa in The Lion King. His extensive body of work includes theater, television, and film, establishing him as one of the most versatile actors of his, of his generation. Jones earned numerous accolades, including a Tony Award, an Honorary Oscar, and a Kennedy Center Honors. He will truly be missed. I've never actually watched Star Wars before. Never watched Star Wars before. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was really good in like, Mufasa. Yeah, he's like a really, really popular really voice actor. I watched, I watched The Lion King. I haven't yeah, I watched The Lion King. You haven't watched The Lion King? No. no you oh my God. I don't have Disney+. Have Plus. You know I don't have Disney+. Plus. You don't I have Netflix. That's all I got. Please. Yeah. And now over to Matthew with our lifestyle story. On September 11, 2001, New York City was forever changed when terrorists hijacked planes and crashed them into the World Trade City Twin Towers. The attack claims nearly 3,000 lives, including first responders who heroically rushed to save others. The city and the nation mourned deeply, but from the ashes of tragedy emerged resilience. Each year, the 9-11 Memorial honors the victims, and New Yorkers reflect on the unity and strength that followed the attacks, ensuring the memory of that day remains alive in collective remembrance. That was tragic. Yeah. It was yeah. so sad. It was sad. Yeah. I think my parents were in New Jersey when that happened. It's like right next to New York. Really? So oh, a lot of scary. people were like really close to dying. I feel like so confused why they planned to do that. My mom was yeah. teaching yeah. in her classroom when it happened. Really? Oh. Yeah, my teachers yeah. tell me about the stories when they heard about it. So. Yeah. I've watched a few uh, documentaries oh, on Santa it. I've watched like one. Yeah, it's cool to uh, learn about. And now let's check out our today's 10 second trivia. In what year did the San Francisco 49ers win their first Super Bowl? 1975, 1981, 1984, or 1989? It was 1981 when the 49ers got their first NFL championship. The San Francisco 49ers defeated the New York Jets 32-19 on Monday Night Football. Despite missing star running back Christian McCaffrey, the 49ers dominated with Jordan Mason rushing for 110 yards and a touchdown. Brock Purdy threw for 182 yards, while Jake Moody made four field goals. The 49ers controlled the game, holding possession for nearly twice as long as the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, returning from an Achilles injury, threw for 167 yards and a touchdown. But it wasn't enough to overcome the 49ers' balance attack. It would have been a good day to have a uh, Jake Moody start in fantasy. Wasn't yeah. that game yesterday? Was it? Yeah. It was yesterday, yes. Yeah, oh, no, it was on Monday. I thought it was yesterday. No, Monday Night Football. Yeah, I don't watch my dad football that much. I don't watch football. Yeah, I don't watch all the time. football know. fans. Go Niners. 49er Nation. Niner Nation, yeah. Whatever you say. All right, now over to Hunter with Today in History.
On September 11, 1941, the groundbreaking ceremony for the Pentagon took place in Arlington, Virginia. Designed as the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense, it became the largest office building in the world. Built during World War II, the Pentagon was created to con consolidate the many U.S. military offices scattered across Washington, D.C. The five-sided structure was com completed in 1943 and remains a symbol of American pow military power. Interestingly, exactly 60 years later, the Pentagon itself became a target during the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. I'm Hunter, and this has been Today in History. Apple has officially unveiled the iPhone 16 lineup, showcasing a range of new features and technological advancements. The new models boost improved A18 Bionic chips, enhanced battery life, and more powerful camera systems, including a 48 megapixel sensor for pro-level photography with Celica's design. The iPhone 16 Pro model features slimmer bit bit <laughs> I need to read. Bezos and a dynamic island that enhances user interaction. Apple's continuous focus on sustainability is evident with increased use of recycled materials. The lineup also introduces innovative display improvements and expanded customization options, setting a new standard for the smartphones. That was really cool. Like I was so surprised when they released that. Like, yeah, we're, me, and me and Matthew, we're in the Android, Android gang. gang. We're in the Android oh, gang. me too. So is really? You are? Oh, I thought you were iPhone. Nope. Oh, we got one iPhone. No. I'm Android. I should be switching I'm Android to. too. Oh, you're Android? Yeah. Oh, really? oh, I have my phone on me right now. Android oh. squad right here. Yeah. <laughs> now let's take a look at our Warrior updates. Sanford Middle is excited to welcome students and parents to our open house tomorrow, September 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. This is a great opportunity for you to get an overview of a student's daily experience at school and you can meet their teachers. Make sure to learn about the programs we offer on um, tomorrow. Spirit Night will be held at Topgolf Lake Mary from 4 to 6 p.m. on October 27th. Tickets are $20 per person. Wear your SMS gear and come out for a night of fun and support for Stanford Middle School. The yearbook team is looking for a new design. Show off your artistic talent and design the cover of our yearbook. Entries are due by 4 p.m. on September 25th. Please follow our yearbook leadership team on Instagram. You can scan the QR code or find them at sanford.leadership. Make sure to get ready for the 2025 Rube Goldberg Machine Contest, where creativity takes center stage. This year's theme is Feed a Pet, challenging participants to build complex machines for simple tasks. Whether you're skilled in engineering or love creative problem solving, this contest is your opportunity to showcase your talents. Join the fun and let your imagination run wild as you design the craziest machine possible. For more details, scan the code, email, or visit Mr. Cohen. That's all for now. For more information on your Warrior updates, make sure to follow SMS on all social media. Students, just a reminder to check in for the goals you've set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring. And be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus when help, to help when needed. And remember the tardy and cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all the SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave. Believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage in Excel and learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll catch you here right next time on The Brave Club.